that Hemant Soren and the JMM government has not carried out the worst of corruption. The interesting thing in all these cases, including the, the land for jobs scam that Lalu and his son face, or the Hemant Soren scam, is that actually there is no denial of the fact that corruption took place. There is almost an acceptance of guilt. The only question now is about timing and why. So what it boils down to is this, ladies and gentlemen, you have the entire opposition saying, so what if he was corrupt? So what if there was a scam? So what if there's documented evidence of the scam? So what if his direct role is known? And therefore, when I say it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion tonight, the point that I want to make, ladies and gentlemen, that the headline of the day that the India Alliance is making is that their chief ministers, one of their chief ministers, is in custody for an act of corruption. And the MLAs, despite a very, very solid apparent majority, are getting hoarded in charter planes and getting flown off to Hyderabad resorts. Why do they need to do that? If they feel nothing's wrong, if they're not going to break up, what are these chartered planes for? Headlines too is that out of the apparently solid majority that Heman Soren party has, only four MLAs were on board the first charter. So you got a plane, you got the money, you know where you got to go, but nobody's willing to go with it. Other 45 whereabouts of the other MLAs are still under scrutiny. Nobody knows where they are. They've all gone missing and this is the reality. When the chief minister was asked to appear, he came to Delhi and disappeared. Now the CM to be Champai Soren is asking to show, has been asked to show his claim that he has a majority. And yet just four people are on the plane, ladies and gentlemen, to Hyderabad, where the flock will be protected from poaching, we are told. But, ladies and gentlemen, beyond this disarray, I have a larger concern. One, is it about the scale of corruption that the sitting Chief Minister of Jharkhand may have undertaken? A land scam with crores of rupees and an entire India alliance led by Priyanka Vadra cheering Heman Soren as he waves in the air in custody for the cameras. My concern about the India alliance from the Soren episode to the way Kejriwal is handling liquor gate is how unfettered they are to the allegations of corruption. How sad. Look at what Arvind Kejriwal has come down to. Who would imagine that Arvind Kejriwal would be in a scam himself, possible mastermind, protecting him and Soren after all the promise of 2011. This is what it has come down to. This bleak strategy to brush off everything is a strategy going nowhere because corruption is and will be an issue for India in the longer term. Arvind Kejriwal thought he could come to power on the issue of corruption and then tell people forget about corruption because I'm going to move on to other things. People have not forgotten Mr. Kejriwal. My second concern is about leadership. The moment Soren was arrested, the entire party is on the brink of crumbling. A government is falling to pieces because with the leader in the dock, there is no party, there is no unity. We see the exact same thing in Maharashtra and to some degree in Bihar and now in Jharkhand. Let me make a prediction for Bihar. The RJD will fall apart, ladies and gentlemen. If Lalu Prasad or any of his other children, you know, or other of the co-accused are arrested in the land for job scam all again. If Tejasvi goes to jail, the RJD will fall apart. So the larger concern I have is the one that is faced by several of these regional stalwarts because their cadre is not driven by ideology but by sheer political opportunism. My third is on the style, my third concern is on the style of resort politics playing out and why the governor is not calling for an immediate floor test. In my view, he ought to. The governor owes it to the electorate because instability goes nowhere. It's a big story. We have a big debate, ladies and gentlemen. Quick recap first. After skipping nine summons, ED questions and arrest, Axiom Heman Suri. Documents exclusively accessed by Republic TV show that the former Chief Minister of Jharkhand, Heman Surin, had illegally acquired 8.5 acres. According to the Enforcement Directorate, this was done in connivance with the Revenue Sub-Inspector. So much so, documents were also forged. Enforcement Directorate also maintains that a property worth about 20 crore rupees was sold off for just about 7 crore rupees. With Surin crying, foul play. कोर्ट में जा रहा हूं लेकिन मुझे नहीं लगता है कि मुझे इतना वक्त मिलेगा क्योंकि आपको पता है 
की व्यवस्थाएं देश के अंदर किस तरीके से चलती है आज एक लोकप्रिय सरकार एक आदिवासी अपने ताकत के बल पर जीतकर सरकार बनाकर राज्य की जनता का सेवा कर रहा था आज लगता है ये वक्त अब मेरे लिए खत्म हो रहा है द बीजेपी हैज हिट आउट एट हेमंत सोरेन ओवर सीरियस क्राफ चार्जेस हर जगह एक न एक किंग पिन है कहीं कोई आई ऑफिसर है कहीं कोई माइनिंग सेक्रेटरी है कहीं कोई आपका रिप्रेजेंटेटिव है और स्कैम पर स्कैम हो चले जा रहे हैं मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग पैसे आ रहे हैं तो जांच नहीं होनी चाहिए क्या निश्चित होनी चाहिए टर्स फोर्सिंग हेमंत टू क्विट एज अ सीएम एंड हिज एड चंपाई स्टॉकिंग क्लेम सरकार बनाने के लिए नेता किया जाए इसके लिए हम क्या In neighboring Bihar, Indies Lalu and Tejasvi under ED scrutiny in land for job scam. हम लोग तो केस मुकदमा बाद जेल ही रहे CBI ED. हम कहते हैं CBI ED अब एजेंसियां नहीं रहेगी. अब वो BJP के अलायंस पार्टनर बन करके रह गए हैं. बस उनको फायदा पहुंचाने के लिए उनके इशारों पे चलने के लिए. आप स्केचरिवाल Big on ED radar over in Delhi liquor policy case. मेरे वकीलों ने मुझे बताया कि ये संबंध गैर कानूनी है। क्यों गैर कानूनी है? ये मैंने इनको विस्तार से लिख के भेजा है। मैंने बताया है कि उनके संबंध कैसे गैर कानूनी हैं। लेकिन उन्होंने मेरी एक भी बात का जवाब नहीं दिया। इसका मतलब उनके पास मेरी बातों का जवाब नहीं है। � क्या मुझे एक गैर कानूनी समन का पालन करना चाहिए अगर कानूनी रूप से सही समन आएगा तो मैं पूरा सहयोग करूंगा मैनी टॉप इंडिया लीडर्स इन द लाइम लाइट ओवर करप्शन फेस विद द काइंड ऑफ एविडेंस दैट ईडी हैड हेमंत सोरेन हैड नो ऑप्शन बट टू रिजाइन अहेड ऑफ इस अरेस्ट Similarly, investigations are picking up pace in the lands for job scam. In all these cases, investigations began. Only after local administrations or police filed complaints, sir. Yet politicization continues no ends. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is delivering his promise. I guarantee From National Herald to the liquor policy case, can craft tainted in the take on BJP. Let's debate. It's going to be a one versus four debate here because Sanju Verma is taking on Arka Nag backing the TMC. Dr. Neela Mishra, spokesperson of JMM, Vandana Singh, spokesperson of AAP, and Pankaj Sharma, who backs the Congress usually. Now, Dr. Neela Mishra, uh, interestingly, besides crying foul, there is actually <laughs> no attempt by the JMM to say that the scam did not happen. Now, this is a very interesting situation. You are not strongly denying that there was no corruption. You're only questioning the timing of the action. Doesn't that essentially make your case very weak to start with? Hello? Hey, Arunaji, yes, I would like Dr. To, Mishra, would that like was to, to you. Okay, I would like to speak in Hindi because in our state, Charkan, maximum people are comfortable in Haan, Hindi. Bolie. That's why, okay? If there is no problem. Boliye. That's what, okay? If there is no problem. Dekhi, Jharkhand ke saath joh hua hai, wo kisi se chupa nahi. Bohat hi bhatta aur gharnit ghatna ko anjaam Jharkhand mein diya gaya hai. Aap bataiye, jis prakar ka aarop maaniye mukmantri ji pe, purwa mukmantri ji pe lagaya gaya. 
जो अब जग जाहिर हो चुका है कहीं से कोई प्रूफ नहीं था बिल्कुल सत्य के बयान पे उनको गिरफ्तार किया गया कोई आरोप सिद्ध नहीं हुआ और जिस प्रकार से एक सरकारी गवाह को खड़ा करके उनको फंसाने का जो काम किया गया घृणित काम किया गया ये अब किसी से छुपा नहीं है और इसके पीछे भाजपा का क्या नियत है क्यों इतना गिरी हुई राजनीति पे वो उतर चुके हैं इसका कोई जवाब उनके पास नहीं है क्या हर राज्य में इसी तरह का आतंक की राजनीति होगी क्या हर राज्य में विपक्ष के जितने भी पार्टी का जो सरकार चल रहा है सबको इसी तरह से डिस्टर्ब किया जाएगा और ये बात स्मिता का करते हैं ये बात सुचिता का करते हैं ये बात संविधान का करते हैं आप बताइए एक जनप्रतिनिधि जनता से चुनी हुई सरकार बहुमत की सरकार को किस प्रकार से गिराया जाता है तो इनका क्या ये विश्वविद्यालय चला रहे क्या कि जिस स्टेट में बहुमत की सरकार चल रही हो उसको किस प्रकार से गिराया जाए और अल्पमत की सरकार को किस प्रकार से पुनः खड़ा की जाए इसका क्या ये विश्वविद्यालय चला रहे हैं ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी खोल के रखे हुए क्या हर स्टेट में कभी महाराष्ट्र में तो कभी एम पी में मतलब इसको तानाशाही बोला जाए या गुंडागर्दी बोला जाए मेरे हम लोगों के पास अब शब्द नहीं है कि इसको किस नाम क्या सरनेम दिया जाए यू हैव वन वर्सेस फोर एंड देन यू आर नॉट इवन गिविंग मी टाइम टू रिबाट हर शी इज मेड सच अ लेंदी मोनोलॉग नीलम मिश्रा जी नीलम मिश्रा जी वैसे तो मैं आपको काउंटर करना चाहता हूं मगर इधर वन वर्सेस फोर सिचुएशन जरूर है संजू वर्मा रिस्पॉन्ड करेंगी क्योंकि आपने बात तानाशाही की कि आपने कहा कि डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट को उखाड़ फेंकने के लिए ये सब हुआ है सो संजू वर्मा विल प्रेजेंट हर साइड नाउ संजू थैंक यू और नाइस टू सी यू बैक यू नो आई वॉन्ट टू से यू नो वन वेरी पर्टिन पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इज I'll start by reading out what the Jharkhand High Court said in 2022, and what the Jharkhand High Court said in 2023. Because Hemant Soren petitioned the court both in 2022 and 2023 that the ED investigation against me should be quashed. Now your audience needs to know. ये जो बार-बार यहाँ पर आकर BJP पर लंचन लगाते हैं, Jharkhand court ने ये कहा है ध्यान से सुनिए. In 2022, the Jharkhand High Court said. all is not well in the mines department and it is a matter of grave concern that the current chief minister mr soren is not only the chief minister of the state but also handles and manages the mining department we expect better in 2023 the jharkhand high court said this reminds us of a crime political thriller where the head of the state is involved in a fight with the crime syndicate in a clash for natural resources these are the statements by the jharkhand high court which has completely unequivocally unconditionally castigated the corrupt hemant soren government point number 1 point number 2 as recently as october 2023 hemant soren knocked on the doors of the supreme court supreme court pahunch gaye hemant soren haath jod kar kehte hain mere khilaf jo karwahi hai wo gair qanuni hai is karwahi ko rad kiya jaye and the three judge bench of the supreme court said ed ki karwahi jari rahegi to ye kehna ki bhajpa aapki sarkar girana chahti hai to main ye puchna chahti hu kya supreme court bhi galat hai kya jharkhand high court bhi galat hai third point or not i always say on your debate that malafide intent money trail and proceeds of the crime are very very important but most important are witnesses and it has been found and this is mentioned in the ed's charge sheet that the money that was laundered was transferred to jagat bandhu tea estate a company owned by pradeep bagchi who is pradeep bagchi a very very close confidant of hemant soren and you will be surprised to know that jo pehli fir hui thi june 2020 mein that was not filed by the bjp the fir was filed by a businessman called shambhu kumar against pankaj mishra and who is pankaj mishra pankaj mishra is the ex confidant of hemant soren a top ranking official and then again in 2022 the district collector of sahib ganj ratnesh sahay filed a case against hemant soren imagine sahib ganj ke district collector ratnesh sahay hemant soren ke khilaf karwahi 
करने की कोर्ट से इजाजत मांगते हैं और कहते हैं मैं इनके अधीन काम नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि ये सरकार करप्शन में लिप्त है एंड आई डोंट मीन आर पैनलिस्ट है मिस्टर पंकज मिश्रा इट्स अनफॉर्चुनेट दट ही शेयर द सेम नेम सो ये कहना कि ये बीजेपी का किया धरा है ये बिल्कुल गलत है एंड माई थर्ड एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेमंत सोरेन ने आज क्या कहा यू you नो know, फर्जी कागजात है जाली कार्रवाई है अरे फर्जी कागजात जाली कार्रवाई जरा जाकर पढ़िए सेक्शन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड फोर्टी फाइव ऑफ द पी एम एल एक्ट गिव द एनफोर्समेंट डिरेक्टरेट स्वीपिंग पावर्स फॉर सुअ मोटो अरेस्ट इफ यू डू नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड टू थ्री समन यहां तो दस समन को रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं किया गया उसके बावजूद दस समन जब उनका उल्लंघन हुआ कंप्लाई नहीं किया गया तब जाके ईडी ने गिरफ्तारी की फर्स्ट समन वॉज इशूड ऑन एट अगस्त 2022, थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दमन वॉज इशूड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई हैड फैक्ट्स The other witnesses who have sung like Channelies and named Hemant Sorin, apart from Pradeep Bhatti, our senior I, I, IAS I officer who was suspended, Chavi Ranjan, Anupama, Vishnu Agarwal, Vijay Agarwal, Rahul Agarwal, I ask here. I, I ask here any of the other panelists right now, whether Pankaj Sharma or Vandana Singh or Bap or Arko Kumar Nag. I ask any of them here to prove any of the facts. that have been put out by sanju verma to prove that she is factually incorrect i have never been so generous i am giving an open invitation to nilam mishra vandana singh pankaj sharma aur arka kumar nag you prove right now abhi jo inhone kaha there is a single factual inaccuracy in what she said sabse pehle is there a single factual inaccuracy in what she said sabse pehle main kehna chahungi sabse pehle main ye kehna chahungi कि आपका आज का आप जो डिबेट है ना उसका हेडलाइन होना चाहिए था कि झारखंड सरकार गिरने के बाद भी 48, 47 विधायक का बहुमत होने के बाद भी आ, आ, आ भी अभी तक 24 घंटा बीत जाने के बाद भी आखिर सरकार फॉर्म क्यों नहीं हो सका आपका डिबेट का हेडलाइन वो होना चाहिए था कि आखिर गवर्नर सरकार बनने से क्यों रोक रही है मुझे मेरी बात सुनिए नीलम जी नीलम जी नीलम जी नीलम जी नीलम जी जरा मुझे अपने डिबेट का सब्जेक्ट खुद डिसाइड करने दीजिए मैं मैं देखिए मैं मैं आपसे ये पूछना चाहूंगा मैं आपसे ये पूछना चाहूंगा कि क्या भानु प्रसाद भानु प्रताप प्रसाद और हेमंत सोरेन के बीच में क्या लिंक है मेरी बात सुनिए मेरी बात सुनिए मैं मेरी बात सुनिए मैं कुछ आपकी बात मैंने सुनी मगर आप मेरी बात सुनिए आप हेमंत सोरेन को डिफेंड कर रहे हैं मगर इधर हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स हैं जो प्रॉपर्टी है जो लैंड स्कैम में है वो भानु प्रताप प्रसाद के मोबाइल फोन से रिकवर किए गए हैं और जो इंफॉर्मेशन ये है जो तथ्य बाहर में आए हैं कि हेमंत सोरेन और भानु प्रताप प्रसाद एक साथ काम करते थे लैंड रिकॉर्ड्स को मैनिपुलेट करते थे इलीगल मैनर में और हेमंत सोरेन को इस तरह से 12 प्रॉपर्टी जो एक के पास एक लोकेटेड है और साढ़े आठ एकड़ जमीन उन्होंने हड़प ली थी अब मुझे बताइए आप कहे आपकी पूर्ण बहुमत हो मगर हड़पने की मोहब्बत है क्या आप कह रहे मेरी पूरी पूर्ण बहुमत है चोरी करने की बहुमत है क्या आप कह रहे मेरी पूर्ण बहुमत है मेरे पास नंबर है मगर ये बताइए मुझे कि जो नंबर आपको दिए गए हैं साढ़े आठ एकड़ जमीन हड़पने के लिए है ये पैसे किसके हैं कैश दिखाइए इतने पैसे उनके घर में कैसे आए नीलम मिश्रा जी आप मुझे बताइए उनके नॉन सोर्स ऑफ इनकम है क्या देखिए तथ्यों में जाइए ये मत कीजिए कि हमारे पास बहुमत है हम जो मन में मर्जी करेंगे बहुत की बात जी आप मेरी बात अगर मेरी आप बात मुझे बताइए आप मुझे बताइए आप मुझे बताइए कि ये भानु प्रताप प्रसाद और हेमंत सोरेन के बाद में बीच में संपर्क क्या है सुना जाए पहले जमीन का मामला पूरी तरह से सुना जाए वो जो सारे आठ एकड़ की जमीन का मालिकाना की जो बात हो रही है जिसमें हेमंत सोरेन जी पे आरोप लगाया गया उनको गिरफ्तार किया गया आपको पता होना चाहिए कि वो जो जमीन है वो जमीन का नेचर भूमिहर जमीन है जमीन है भूमिहर जमीन को ना बेचा जा सकता है ना हस्तांतरण किया जा सकता है ऐसे जमीन के मामले में इनको फंसाया गया फर्जी पेपर बना करके इनको फंसाया गया है और जो सरकारी गवाह बनाया गया मतलब एक जाली तरीके से सरकारी गवाह को खड़ा करके इनको फंसाने का काम किया गया है जिसके कारण ही 
आज ये स्थिति में झारखंड आके खड़ी हुई है और एक सवाल मैं आपसे पूछती हूँ कि पिछला अभी तो चलिए झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा का गठबंधन की सरकार झारखंड में झारखंड में इसके पहले किसकी सरकार थी झारखंड में इसके पहले भाजपा की सरकार थी झारखंड में भाजपा की सरकार होने के बावजूद भी क्यों हेमंत सोरेन पे ईडी नहीं आया क्यों हेमंत सोरेन पे जांच नहीं लगा क्यों हेमंत सोरेन पे भ्रष्टाचार का आरोप नहीं लगा उस वक्त कोई नेता प्रतिपक्ष थे सत्ता में वो नहीं थे आप पिछला पांच साल को छोड़ दो जब से झारखंड अलग राज्य बना है भाजपा के शासन पे काबिज रही है आप सच को झूठ में नहीं बदल सकती सच्चाई यही है हेमंत सोरेन हैज बीन फाउंड गिल्टी दरअसल बात यह है कि हेमंत हैज बीन किसी भी एंड वैक्सिंग इलोक्वेंट अबाउट हेमंत सोरेन राजा हरिश्चंद्र का चौथा अवतार है ऐसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है पूजा सिंघल अरेस्टेड एंड वाई हैव बोथ दीज वुमेन नेम हेमंत सोरेन पूजा सिंगल ने हेमंत सोरेन को क्यों कटघरे में बुलाने की मांग की है कोर्ट से इसका जवाब दीजिए छवि रंजन ने कोर्ट से ये मांग क्यों की है कि हेमंत सोरेन को कटघरे में खड़ा किया जाए अब तक तो आप कहते थे पूजा सिंगल इज वेरी इनोसेंट अब तक तो आप कहते थे छवि रंजन इज वेरी इनोसेंट बोथ इज वुमेन वर सीनियर आई ऑफिसर्स इन द हेमंत सोरेन गवर्नमेंट आई यू सेन दैट बोथ इज वुमेन हु टिल ये यू वर स्वेरिंग ऑन देर Uh, innocence you were say swearing on their credibility you were swearing on their ethical conduct how is it that today now that they have turned against him and sorin you suddenly say oh chavi ranjan is persona non grata oh pooja singhal is persona non grata because she is not deposed against him and sorin you are being exposed on live tv you can cry sulk rave rant but the fact is that there are 4952 cases against the mining department and these have been filed after hemant soren took over not when raghubar das or arjun munda or babulal marandi of the bjp were in power so let me check you fact check you right there these 4900 dekhiye to mining case mai at this point sabse pehli baat point number 1 mai get point number 1 puja singhal ka can i get the aap aaj ke samay ka सारा मामला रघुवर दास रघुवर दास जो भाजपा के यहाँ पे मुख्यमंत्री थे उनके समय की मामला है ये पूजा सिंगल का सारा बीजेपी बीजेपी के शासन काल का है पहला नंबर और दूसरी दूसरी बात मैं ये कहना चाहती हूँ दूसरी बात ये कहना चाहती हूँ कि भाजपा जब मुख्यमंत्री बन गए उसके बाद चार उसके बाद फैसी केस and if the highest court of the country like the supreme court says that prima facie there is a very strong case on liquor gate right then there is no public sympathy so my question is are you supporting the jmm and heman soren because you fear that arvind kejriwal will be next ardo ardo i have a question to you also like how how the bjp because you yourself is a very intellectual person and i'm asking when bjp is leveling this kind of corruption into the opposition leader today itself how it is possible the the leaders those who are in the opposition the leveling with the such kind of charges even though you are saying that it prema facie the supreme court has held that the the liquor policy and all but before that the supreme court also held that the ed has miserably failed to place any evidence before the supreme court or any court before uh, against the aap or the liquor policy itself how it is possible that the any leaders those who are uh, in opposition i don't think so after the uh, uh, india alliance that when did the supreme court say that the opposition no no when did the supreme kind of court say that charges. When did the Supreme Court say that? Can you give me the date, time, and who said that, or did you just made it up? Even it is Arvind Kejriwal, 
हेमंत सोरेन तेजस्वी यादव और एनीबडी दोज हु आर इन द अपोजिशन आर गेटिंग नोट फ्रॉम द इट्स लाइक अ पोस्ट कार्ड फ्रॉम द ईडी व्हाट इज द अकाउंटेबिलिटी ऑफ द ईडी एज ऑफ नाउ दोज हु आर सेंडिंग अ नोटिस टू द अपोजिशन लीडर्स Hemant Sorin is behind. I mean, like uh, getting arrested by the uh, yeah. ED. Now the Arvind Kejriwal, the Jaswi Yadav. How it is possible? What about uh, the Ch Chagal Bhujwal? How about the Ajit Pawar? What is about the other uh, Hemant? Oh there are so many uh, so, so many oppositions leader. The those who are, who joined the BJP and those the the BJP has labelled the so many allegations against those leaders now who is... joined BJP. Are, Arnab, can no, I please counter? No, there are no allegations as of now, but those who doesn't, I mean, like those who doesn't want to join BJP has labelled with these kind of allegations. What is the accountability of the ED as of now? So it, I, my question is with now, with you, uh, Arnab, you, you yourself is a very intellectual person and asking so many questions oh from God. the nation. So nation, I mean, like the entire person, you yourself has seen how the. Vote of uh, vote of the mayor elections in the Chandigarh has been tempered by the BJP. Oh, no. The entire this is not the topic of the video. It was it was it 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 was uh, photographed by the uh, uh, in the in the uh, uh, direction of the court. You know she is so going on and on and on and making zero sense. I can't even understand what she is trying to convey. She is making zero sense. I can't even understand what she is trying to convey. She is making zero sense. So I I. Can I rebut in 30 seconds or not? I won't take long. I promise. Well, well I mean, I, I, I would, I would just want to place one thing on record that the reason our leaders have not been given bail and the case is very much open is because the Supreme Court has found prima facie that there is a strong case out here. So you should be very careful about saying that there is any such statement uh, made by the Supreme Court that there is absolutely prima facie no case as far as liquor gate is concerned which was a scam carried out by the excise department which was headed under by Mr. Manish Sisodia when Arvind Kejriwal was uh, chief minister and his chief minister. Sanju wants to respond. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. as of now situation is very fluid but it's good that we are focusing on whether there was a scam rather than just the political debate of why is there action against XYZ leader. Sanju is responding, then I'll throw Thank it open you. to Arko and Pankaj. You know, Arnab, I'm so glad you mentioned that uh, when we uh, speak about the Supreme Court, we need to be very careful uh, because we don't want to be uh, running ultra virus of what the court has already said. And let me remind your audience and the AAP panelist who's got her facts completely jumbled up and mixed up. This is what a two-judge bench of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice SVN Bhatti said while rejecting the bail plea of both Manish Sisodia and then subsequently Sanjay Singh. They said a tentative money trail of Rs. 138 crore has been established. We uphold the CBI Special Judge M.K. Nagpal's judgment that Manish Sisodia was the architect behind increasing the commission from 5% to 12% and find nothing wrong with the observation of the CBI special judge and hence we take his observations on board which basically in layman language means that the Supreme Court agreed with the CBI special judge Mr. N.K. Nagpal who said that Manish Sisodia was not just a participant he was the architect of the Delhi liquor scam point number one Point number two, Manish Sisodia has applied for bail how many times? One, four, 14 times. Rejected each time. Sanjay Singh has applied for bail how many times? Seven times. Rejected each time. And wait, Satinder Jain has applied for bail 22 times and rejected each time. Rejected by who? Not by the BJP. Rejected by the Patiala court. Rejected by the Rouse Avenue Court, rejected by the CBI Court, rejected by the Delhi High Court, and then rejected by the Supreme Court. So, Matla Patiala High Court Galat hai, Delhi High Court Galat hai, Rouse Avenue Court Galat hai, Supreme Court Galat hai, Raja Harish Chandra ka avatar kaun hai, Arvind Kejriwal hai, Raja Harish Chandra ka avatar kaun hai, Manish Sisodia hai. Bhai, aapke saari party ke aadhe se zada neta jail mein hai, aur yadi itne hi. इनकी क्रेडिबिलिटी इतनी अच्छी है ये इतने अस्मिता से भरपूर स्वाभिमान से भरपूर ऊपर से नीचे इनमें कोई दाग नहीं दूर से धुले हुए हैं तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट इनकी बेल लगातार खारिज क्यों कर रही है पहले इसका जवाब दो बीजेपी क्या कर रही है ये बात की बात है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बेल क्यों रिजेक्ट की 
और को इनफैक्ट इनफैक्ट लेट मी पुट इट डिफरेंटली लेट मी पुट इट डिफरेंटली इट वुड बी ह्यूजली एम्बेरसिंग फॉर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड द ईडी वर द कोर्ट्स टू से दैट देर इज नो केस इन लिकर गेट बट द कोर्ट्स आर सेइंग देर इज अ वेरी स्ट्रांग केस ऑन लिकर गेट वर द कोर्ट्स टू से दैट देर इज नो राशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्कैम अराउंड मिनिस्टर्स इन बंगाल बट द कोर्ट्स हैव सेड नथिंग लाइक दैट वर द कोर्ट्स टू से दैट देर इज नो महादेव बेटिंग स्कैम व्हिच रिवॉल्वड अराउंड भूपेश बघेल uh 508 crores allegedly paid to him and his cronies but the courts have said nothing like that you see at some point of time orco you can't just keep saying we haven't done it if the courts are not convinced if the courts are not convinced that you have a case then the people will not be convinced orco pankaj you understand there is no sympathy go to calcutta today and ask go to kolkata and ask Is a sympathy for the Trinamool Congress for the many scams? Absolutely to, not. Is a sympathy uh, for uh, Chhattisgarh for Bhupesh Baghel? Absolutely not. Is do there I sympathy for Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi? Absolutely not. Please well do. Said or not. Well said. <coughs> well said. Do I do I, do I respond to it? Please do. And what is the question? Yeah. so far as uh, let's let me start with uh, your comment on uh, the food scam uh, which is allegedly uh, has taken place in bengal i would like to let you and all other of your viewers know i had been personally looking into uh, one of the matters which is the prime matter so far as the ration scam is concerned anup and i actually thank the enforcement directorate which went ahead and uh, which uh, arrested the minister of uh, bengal government because that actually consolidated <coughs> the entire north 24 parganas to ensure that there will be not a single bjp winning seats in lok sabha from the north 24 parganas because no you are giving uh, you know, a political response to a case of corruption uh, no, no, no 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 you are not arguing on fact i no no you no, no, you are not uh, arguing on fact oh so what if mohan maitra was corrupt we will support her that is brazenness or no you are not arguing on fact or i am disappointed with you you should have argued on fact you should have said there is no ration distribution scam there are no there are no allegations of link ups with private companies for money laundering but you are not saying that you are making a political point to a technical question the mistake no no i am i am absolutely making a political point i am making a political point because it is political the arrest of hemant soren is political the mistake of hemant soren was not the, with regard to any corruption the mistake of hemant soren was threatening the 11 bjp elected bail of hemant soren members of parliament from jharkhand who will perhaps not win this time that is the mistake of hemant soren that is the scam hemant soren could do convincing the people of jharkhand to reject bjp high court refused to no cross the investigation proceedings against hemant soren it is important in bengal please get that loud and clear you don't have any idea about the facts if hemant soren is innocent why did jharkhand high court please hear it loud and clear make it a point there is no trial which has commenced against any leader of ai ai there is no trial against hemant soren as of now merely a arrest by a central agency Are you telling me that the Supreme Court is a handmaid of the BJP? Go ahead and scream anywhere and you want. And who are you? Who are the PMC sympathizers? Even if you change the rules, the parliament will find more in the absence of Anupata opposition. You are not in a position to declare somebody as a criminal. Abhishek Banerjee out of jail for being tried in the case for drug scam. Malala Ghatak, your prime minister, being investigated in the case scam. Please make a very, very clear view. Your Sandesh Kamal, 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 your
And, and the court could, if it feels there is no case, they could release him. No problem about it. No, no, absolutely not. No absolutely problem about Absolutely not. With, you see, if there's political... No, 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 one minute, one minute. And with regard to bail, that is nothing uh, uh, but a prima facie opinion. Please, Arnab, <laughs> when there is a criminal case, the prima facie crime can only be adjudicated by a trial court and not by a bail bench. Presently, Hemant <laughs> Soren is before a bail bench and not before a trial court. Sir, there is an absolute wrong narrative to this set it here. Why were investigations proceeding? So, proceeding you could be given bail. Is not is not no, no, so, uh, also, also by that logic, you are right, which, which means he could be given bail. He could be given bail. In the allegations that he could be given bail. He could be given bail. He could be given bail. He could be sent to judicial custody. And after that, the matter will go to trial. And possibly the matter will go to appeal. But whether on trial or appeal, one minute or go, or go, listen to me. Or go, or go, or go. Or go, listen, 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 Baba. Listen, listen, or go. Listen, the court is under no compulsion to keep to keep Heman Soren in jail. If the if the court believes that this is a case of vendetta, if the court believes that there is no prima facie case, if the court believes that this is all made up, the court will say so. And Mr. Soren can go to the Supreme Court. If the Supreme Court says, High Court says, any appellate court says that there is no case, there is, it was all made up, then he can be given bail. But that has to be said by the court. If it is not said by the court, you can't make out a case for yourself. Now, Pankaj, Pankaj, listen. Now the political point, Pankaj. JMM Congress says we have the numbers. If you have the numbers, then have the, con have the floor test tomorrow morning. Why fly your people in a chartered plane to Hyderabad? Have the floor <laughs> test tomorrow morning. As per, the, as per the Bomai verdict, you have the ultimate test of majorities to be held no, in the Ra not in the Raj Bhavan, but on the floor of the house. So I'm saying have a test on the floor of the house. Why not? Yes. Why are they flying to Hyderabad? You know, uh, Sister Goswami in our villages, there is a saying. Why? Please uh, take my uh, whatever I am saying in a right spirit. Those in a village might live peacefully through their widowhood. I did widowers allow them to live peacefully. Keeping in mind the track record of BJP in last 10 years, any political party is fearful of their tricks. While saying so, also say this that I support the arrest of Hemant Soren. Repeat, I support the arrest of Hemant Soren because, repeat, because my prime minister is so even-handed that he has also I not strong spared. I to this kind of language. Of Shwa, sir, Ma, Bro, how can you allow this kind of language? Prime minister is even-handed. Would you allow me even, if I were to abuse your analyst? Even-handed. Even handed what kind of nonsense is that this man talking? also not spared Manta Biswa Sarma, kind of Narayan Rane, Chhatak Kujbal, Ajit Pawar. You know, that leave, eh? you know the despite the their joining BJP, the Prime Minister on your show? I, Sanju ji, even handed, even handed, I fully back his action against the likes of Lalu Prasad Yadav on the eve of general elections. Because Sanju has forgotten you know, that we are talking about I have, about I have lost my minister. right long back as a citizen of India to ask the questions about the status of, you know, all these cases against the deans of our great, great democracy, such as Hemanta Biswa, who are dry cleaned by, by this, you know, the Apavatra up, up Pavitrova, Apavitra up Pavitrova, the Russian machine. You came on a panel of mine. Pankaj, you came on a panel of mine before the state elections, and you said, and you said, and you said to be or not because you are doing sting operations in the Mahadev betting scam, and because the BJP is making it an issue, there will be sympathy and support for Bhupesh Baghel. My question to you is, why were you proven wrong? Where was their sympathy and support for Bhupesh Baghel? He lost, no? One of the big reasons exactly. was Mahadev scam, no? Yes, sir. Corruption is not going to be an issue in Chhattisgarh. That is what every political analyst and anti-BJP person said. And look at the manner in which Bhupesh Baghel was routed. And even in Bhupesh Baghel's case, there are three police officers who deposed against him. Prashant Agarwal, Abhishek Palla, Chandra Bhushan Yadav. These are police officers who were working Only and the opposition leaders. Baghel, but then turned against him 
and at the prime minister to watch how the same agencies have so continuously buried and then they were removed the cases service. against those who have no i'm i i i'm saying i'm saying are you are you, are you totally sure are you totally sure that people are not as stand. angry about corruption so one minute we remember 2011 we remember india against corruption and people were angry are you sure that people are not as angry in 2011 as they uh, as they are in 2024 i think people are still angry about corruption people will punish the corrupt whether it's kejriwal hemant soren lalu prasad exactly. suresh kalmadi anyone hemanta beswa and uh, that, that's a fact ajit pawar you go and have a case against hemanta beswa sarma let's if you have let's, proof, let's if you not have to file a case against chadan gupta if you have the proof let's file a case against ajit pawar aapko kisne roka hai supreme court ka darwaza khatkhat aaiye tv debate par rona dhona band kariye himmat hai sab aapke naam hai no no sab aao thoda sa dheere dheere let's start a hypocrite and accept the fact that the very closely as far as the as far as the vote is concerned jmm indi is looking a little weak right now resort politics chartered planes this is getting very exciting i'm taking a one minute one one minute very very short securite one minute break when i come out the controversial comment by a congress leader demanding a separate nation can you believe it when i'm back in a few minutes Amity has been ranked India's number one not-for-profit private university for 11th year, with top 10 ranked institutions in management, engineering, biotech, law, mass comm, telecom, hospitality, fashion, and more. Yet another top ranking for Amity University. Republic Neva Bupa Studios
And finally, a quick short debate on the fact that three months to go for the general elections, the most brazen comment by Congress MP DK Suresh, who's also Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister DK Shivkumar's brother. A very secessionist remark made just minutes after the budget was presented, wants a separate country. Ladies and gentlemen, Congress trying to distance now. Let's debate. A sitting Congress MP, minutes after the budget, back to divisive politics. A card used by his party before to pit the people of the South against the North. Uttar Bharat the kade, ethi ondoagi kurtar ta hanchi tar ta karta do kanta ay deve. Nam ye yalla vichar galal lo kura anya ayakta ay de. Naavo adar na mundan din galal le khandes dilal antarre pratyaka rashtra ko kura naavo bedke na idbe kadan ta aniwarya parisiti ay na Hindi Pradesh dooru na mele her ta ay deve antiyal naan baat. The comment itself indefensible, and even the Karnataka Chief Minister knows that. There is the injustice caused to Karnataka. See, they go with the population. The state should remain united. As the Congress talks North South debate, some regional parties playing the same card that could amount to sectionism. South is totally cut off. From the ruler on the north, the BJP, the media, the uh, civil society, like that. Agree, but as far as South is concerned, we are trying to adopt ourselves because the thought, the Hindu thought, which the Aryans have brought in, is really great. South. Even the Congress seems confused on its parliamentarian, D.K. Suresh, who made the secessionist comment today. Many within the party are saying that they firmly back D.K. Suresh, which means many in the Congress stand by the divisive comment. See it from such a statement, but let me tell you that's the Modi government which is responsible. Sometimes they are imposing Hindi, sometimes they are saying something, and the governor sitting over there in Tamil Nadu, what is he doing? Governor sitting there in Kerala, what's he doing? They are the agent of uh, central government. So South India is getting frustrated. The BJP denies any bias in budget allocation. इस तरह की बातों का क्या इम्पोर्टेंस दिया जाए? ये देश एक है, संविधान से चलता है, उत्तर, दक्षिण, पूरा पश्चिम, पूरा देश। इसका सबसे उदाहरण है प्रभु राम का भव्य मंदिर का उद्घाटन हुआ, पूरा देश उस दिन दीपक जला रहा था। ये है भारत। just three months to go for the general election, is Congress back to divisive politics to win votes? Let's debate. Okay. You got Sayadar Sadabas, Abhishek Sudhir. Sayadar Sadabas, can this also be justified? Is it? I'm, I'm just throwing it open to you because I think in the name of opposing BJP, people do anything, but now demanding a separate nation, is it? Absolutely not, Anand Goswami. As a matter of fact, we need to take the word of his brother, D.K. Shivkumar, who's the Deputy Chief Minister, and also Sidramaya, who's the Chief Minister. What did Sidramaya state? He said, in a federal state, you can ask for what belongs to you. For instance, the 5,200 crore budget allotted to the education budget of the state of Karnataka, that can be asked. But you cannot ask for a separate nation. Also, his brother, D.K. Shivkumar, states that this country is Akhanda Bharat, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, it is one nation. I honestly uh, think that uh, Mr. D.K. Suresh has uh, spoken out of line. I do understand that over 4 lakh crore is uh, being given as taxes from the uh, state government to the central government. But undoubtedly, as Veer Kannadiga, as a Kannadiga, we speak for Kannada, Nate, undoubtedly, it is one nation, one Akhand Bharat, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, it cannot be a separate nation. May I come in? No, no. So why is the statement made? I mean, uh, Abhishek. I mean, it's. Uh, I, 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 I don't know why he, why he is uh, a member of parliament. I mean, if you can't have the strength to, if you make a statement like that and you get away with it, and also exactly. there's a pattern to it, Abhishek. There's yes. been a pattern to it. This North versus South thing. Praveen Chakravarti right. said it earlier when he said the South. You know, remember the South North North boundary is getting thicker and clearer was a comment made by the Congress data analytic chairman, you know, Praveen Chakrabarti. This has been it got a backlash, but repeatedly he's coming back, you know. You comfortable with it?
Abhishek? Well, if these, if these, if, if these statements are being made, uh, I mean, like Syed Al-Sad Abbas, I've grown up in Bangalore, but I live in the <coughs> north. I can tell you that there is a sense of frustration in the south, that for every rupee Karnataka contributes, it gets only 15 paise back. Bihar gets 7 rupees for every rupee it contributes. You cannot shy away from this issue that money earned in the south is spent in the north. It's as simple as that. Now, you can say divisive. Yes, it is. He shouldn't have made the statement. I don't no, support the idea no, of a separate Karnataka, for example, not. but Karnataka Please, got 44,500 crores as its share of taxes and revenue. No, no, it was... No, no. Well, Karnataka has got more mm. money in the devolution of its share. Yes. So you have to I also want to put that. it out there that the, the Karnataka government will Karnataka's get 44,485 crores as Karnataka's share in taxes and duties for 24-25 ah. fiscal. No, no. So you can't misrepresent. No? But Karnataka contributes 4 lakh crores. Karnataka yeah, contributes I mean, 4 lakh I crores. Need to this. You're giving Karnataka such a minute percentage. Karnataka loses money. Every money that is earned by a South Indian is spent for the welfare of a North Indian. It's as simple as that. You yeah, can't run away from this issue. Please, please address it. Please address this imbalance. You know, you have one please address this imbalance. No, it is clear. The 14th no, no. Finance no, Commission, it was 4.71 percent of the I think you should also divisible pool of taxes. What imbalance? The Bihar Commission, gets. I'm sorry. Bihar gets 1.22 lakh crore. Why is Bihar number two with 1.22 lakh crore? You're presenting Bihar, a wrong narrative. Bihar You're trying gets to put Indian seven versus times Indian. what it contributes. Bihar gets seven times what it contributes. How many Biharis? How many Biharis are migrating to Bangalore? How many Bangaloreans are migrating to Bihar? That's a simple question. So you make this a Karnataka How many South Indians are migrating to the north? Look. No, I will speak after Abhishek Look, keeps quiet. You cannot have the South subsidize the north forever. The South cannot keep subsidizing the North. No, Just because the BJP the has no government here, how long is the South going to subsidize the North? to moderate the debates. Okay, because Sanju's responding. We have limited time. People. Let her respond Let to both of Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm glad that at least both Abhishek and, uh, you know, uh, Sayyid Abbas have said one thing that uh, we need to reject uh, divisive comments. Uh, so I think on that one, we are all in alignment. But I want to, uh, you know, uh, point out to this uh, dangerous narrative that has taken shape, especially after BJP won handsomely in the Hindi half belt. Do you remember or not, after we thrashed the opposition in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan, this entire north versus south divide started. And BJP is only, you know, uh, excellent when it comes to north of the Himalayas, but south of the Vindhyas, the Congress is in a uh, much better position. You know, the limited point is this. In Lok Sabha 2019, BJP got 29 seats from the southern part of India. The Congress got 27 okay. seats. <clears throat> this is the first point. The second point, just uh, very quickly, what Arnold said. Telangana, West Bengal, Kerala, Karnataka, Arunachal Pradesh. In fact, I was looking at the devolution deficit grant, which is about 10,000 crores every month, apart from the 2.39 crore annually, which is paid as GST compensation to states, irrespective of their contribution, these few states from the southern part of India are the highest recipients and Karnataka, because of the floods, got a disproportionate amount of money from the SDRF. More than 7,000 crores. Karnataka share is going to fall in this We have a 10 second response. Time just for a 10 second response. Karnataka share is going to fall again. Please answer. Is the Karnataka share going to fall again in the 16th Commission? 16th Finance Commission. It's a simple question. Is Karnataka share has been falling consistently? Karnataka keeps contributing more and getting back less. That's the simple point. By that logic, Mumbai contributes to 37% of India's indirect taxes. I am a Mumbai guy. Okay, ladies so, and gentlemen, so I'm closing this debate to Mumbai? on this, Mumbai on this budget evening, the 1st of, of February, taxes. this Thursday. I with a promise, I will go back to this debate with more numbers on devolution, responsibilities, and the true, true, true sense of federalism, which is also economic. I'll see you tomorrow at night, without fail. Good night and goodbye. QSMTHE, the world's foremost university rankings organizations have ranked Amity amongst the top 3% universities globally.
making it among the very few Indian universities to be included in both rankings. Yet another top ranking for Amity University. This is Republic Diva Bupa Studio, your one stop for all the breaking news updates and I am Nikita Sahai. This is Republic Neva Bupa Studio, your one stop for all the breaking updates. I am Rakshita Mishra. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bupa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio partner. Viewers, Neva Bupa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. QS and THE, the world's foremost university rankings organizations, have ranked Amity amongst the top 3% universities globally, making it among the very few Indian universities to be included in both rankings. Yet another top ranking for Amity University. This is Republic Diva Bupa Studio, your one stop for all the breaking news updates, and I am Nikita Sahai. This is Republic Neva Bupa Studio, your one stop for all the breaking updates. I am Rakshita Mishra. This is Republic Neva Bupa Studios, your one stop destination for all the breaking news updates. And I am Shivangi Shukla. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. and welcome viewers. It comes as an air of freshness on the evening of a budget two months before a general election to not have election-related sops doled out to the electorate. For it had become accepted tradition by the Chidambaram era to throw carrots to the electorate. One constituency after the other as part of traditional budgetary announcements. Suddenly, they'd wake up to women being a constituency. Suddenly, they would wake up the night before and say, let's woo the army personnel, like they did on the eve of the 2014 budget. Suddenly waking up and saying, okay, let's throw a sop by way of a VC fund to provide concessional finance to schedule casts and fling them some initial capital to make them happy. This is wrong thinking, ladies and gentlemen. 
If you want to develop the nation, you cannot do so by throwing carrots at people. This thinking, ladies and gentlemen, this detestful mindset that treated the people of this country, the electorate of some sort of pre poll cattle for decades, has come to an end with today's budget. It may be an interim budget, but there is a message here. The message that this business of pre-election populism today, I can say with finality, does not belong in the Modi era. Like they did in 2019, and I may even go as far as to say that the 2024 aggression of the Modi government in terms of their surety with themselves of a third term is higher than it was in 2019. This government is more sure, even more sure of being re-elected than they were in 2019. And nothing exudes it more than the union interim budget that we saw Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman deliver today. One, it ditched the populism for the purpose of long-term policy. Two, it went for continuity instead of some knee-jerk reaction to an upcoming election. Three, it solidly rallied behind what it believed in. Going down and empowering the poor, the women, widening the ambits of the schemes instead of flicking some freebies to the downtrodden. Four, aggression in fiscal. They've not just been prudent, showing how secure the economy is and giving the longer roadmap for stability. Five, the generosity in capex. An 11% plus increase in a huge, huge capital allocation already for infrastructure, ladies and gentlemen, is no joke. It's commitment. Commitment that we'll build the country. Commitment will build the roads of the country and the bridges of the country and create the logistics of the country So no one ever says that China's infrastructure is better than us Ladies and gentlemen, this is no joke It convinces no matter how cynical you are that this government of our great nation believes in growth the belief in investment for the future Ladies and gentlemen a 1 lakh crore investment into the sunrise domain tells you that this government, our government, believes into investment, into innovation, and the future of technology. Seven, the focus of women, not just by way of enhancing schemes, but also by bringing key healthcare announcements into the ambit for women. They are going to the root to solve the problem. And finally, number eight, ladies and gentlemen, this is a budget for all. The Modi government with continuity and clarity has delivered a budget which is not pro anyone, which is rather for everybody. No special dole outs, no special carrots, no one above the other. And like the finance minister said today, this, this is true secularism. It may prick many in the Indy today, but largely the Ivy League so-called economists come politicians, ladies and gentlemen, must accept today that they have been shoved into silence. They don't know how to react. They realize that this government has got the fundamentals absolutely right. And when you get the fundamental right, the incidentals follow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my view. Debate number one tonight. Maybe an interim budget, but a budget which has a big message. A big message. And debate number two this evening, we have dramatic political events in Jharkhand. But more than what happens and who takes over, we must talk about what Heman Soren has done. And debate number three tonight, we have the brother of DK Shivakumar in Karnataka talking about a separate nation for the South. I mean, what is Rahul Gandhi doing? Does Sonia Gandhi endorse this as well? The secessionist comment by the Indy leader, and here are the headlines this, this Thursday evening on the debate tonight. Garib, Mahilaye, Yuva, and Anna Data, their needs, their aspirations, and their welfare are our highest priority. A budget for a new India. Nirmala Sitaraman presents a sixth budget, a budget which is aimed not at tempering expectations or raising expectations, but which promises continuity and growth. Gariboki, Rojana Kharcha Karni ki Tagat Barani ki budget hai kya? To ye budget se ham chunao jo hone wala hai is saal. 
ये आम चुनाव में आम लोगों को लुभाने की बजट है और कुछ नहीं है नो क्लियर नो क्लियर रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिशन एक्सप्रेस इज वरी एज द बजट प्रिपेयर टू सुपर चार्ज एंड टर्बो चार्ज द इकोनॉमी Hemant Soren in judicial custody for a day as details of the charges against him the scam that he has carried out come out into the open and begin filtering through Resorting to resort politics the new chief minister of Jharkhand in place for Hemant Soren who's who's quit uh, tries to fly down his supporters to a resort in a state where the congress is in power republic scoops exclusive details of the mega land scam the link to soren is exposed anger mounts against a congress member of parliament over a secessionist comment congress tries to desperately distance now Let's quickly recap the main points in the interim budget presented by Nirmala Sitharaman. There's so much in the budget, but more so, I believe that the main headline here is what isn't there. There are no sops. There is no desperately putting out carrots. There is not seeking votes in the name of the presentation of a budget. It seems there is a quiet confidence in the Modi government that you don't need to use the budgetary process. to try and win an election let's debate historic inclusive visionary dandrim budget is all about growth governance and giving direction aaj ka ye budget interim budget to hai hi lekin ye budget inclusive aur innovative budget hai The interim budget lays Modi government's roadmap to Vikasit Bharat. A pragmatic budget and not a populist one. The budget clearly underlined the government's intent on long-term and sustained economic growth. With FY 2025 capital expenditure increase by 11.1% to 11.11 lakh crore and fiscal deficit for the current financial year revised to 5.8%, the vitals of the budget has provided for growth. With Lok Sabha polls just weeks away, Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman called for a resounding mandate. When our government, under the visionary and dynamic leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, assumed office in 2014, the country was facing enormous challenges. With Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas as its mantra, the government overcame those challenges. in right earnest the country got a new sense of purpose and hope naturally the people blessed the government with a bigger mandate industry experts feel the budget encapsulate new definition of gdp aise kadam uthaye ja rahe hain jisse hamari economy nirantar badhti rahe 2047 mein viksit desh ban sake aur jo jis jis promise se ये सरकार को का इलेक्शन हुआ था सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास उसी की ओर ये सरकार बढ़ रही है लुकिंग एट फिजिकल डेफिसिट विच इज इन द करंट ईयर गोइंग टू बी एट 5.8 पॉइंट एट इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट नाइन विच इज बेटर देन द ओरिजिनल बजट एंड फॉर नेक्स्ट ईयर इन द कमिंग ईयर दिट इज बींग पैक्ड एट फाइव पॉइंट वन इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट फोर सो टू माई माइंड दैट्स अगेन अ वेरी बोल्ड मेजर एंड अ वेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल मेजर बिकॉज दैट विल हेल्प टू टेम इन्फ्लेशन द आत्मनिर्भर टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप्ड इन वंदे भारत 
north and many metros uh, that is going to uh, basically reduce the cost of logistics even further not only of uh, freight but also passenger traffic and that's where basically government is now very keen to use indigenously developed technologies opposition claims the government is hoodwinking people just ahead of the mega ports hame dekhna hai ki kaun sa budget hai बेरोजगारी से रोजगार मिलने का बजट ही है क्या ये गरीबों की रोजाना खर्चा करने की ताकत बढ़ाने की बजट है ये क्या हमारे देश आज विश्व में 111 नंबर सूचक पर आ गए जो आंकड़े वित्त मंत्री ने प्रस्तुत किए हैं वो बढ़ेंगे इसका ये मतलब है कि सरकार कर्जा लेकर अपना खर्चा चला रही दो हजार चौदह में जो लंबे चौड़े वादे किए थे अपने कैंपेन में वो आज तक नहीं हुआ ज्ञान का एक नया डेफिनेशन मिला पर ज्ञान में गरीबों के लिए क्या इस बजट में आया युवाओं के लिए क्या आया नारी शक्ति के लिए क्या आया कुछ भी नहीं आया है सिर्फ उनको ठेंगा दिखा दिया गया मैं कहती हूँ ठंडे मौसम में ठंडा पानी आम जनता की उम्मीदों पर डालने का काम इस बजट ने किया इज द अपोजिशन अनकम्फर्टेबल आफ्टर इट्स अजम्पन ओवर प्रूफ रॉन लेट्स डिबेट on this budget night piyush goel union minister for commerce and industry consumer affairs and food and public distribution and textiles government of india who is also the leader of the house in the rajya sabha uh, mr piyush goel it's great to have you on another budget night you've been with me on so many budget nights this is becoming a ritual thank you so much for joining us now your two word tweet today whipped up a storm i noticed it you put out an interesting clip with it <coughs> and all it said was in july 2024 dot 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 right and the clip in that clip ms sitaraman said that in july 2024 we will produce we will put out a detailed road map for viksit bharat so can you put that tweet in context well i think uh, uh it's very important to understand that prime minister narendra modi has relentlessly over the last 10 years worked for the welfare of the people of india he's consistently ensured that the indian economy is on the right track of growth and it's on the strength of 10 years of hard work sincerely working towards uh, a better future for the people of india that we have come to a situation where from a fragile five economy we are today the world's fifth largest economy and growing at the fastest pace if you see this 10 year period the prime minister's focus has been very inclusive growth how do we get the poor how do we get the marginalized sections of society a better deal after all we had governments which came and went for so many years nobody thought about the women of the home who had to take in smoke year in and year out 10 crore people got a free ujwala gas connection nobody realized the indignity of our sisters and mothers and daughters that they didn't have a toilet 11 crore families got a free toilet 4 crore homes proper pakka homes were made for the poor of this country and 20 crore people effectively are leading a better quality of life today. 60 crore people getting free health care and the list just goes on and on broadly showing that the basic needs of every individual roti kapda makan swast shiksha bijli sadak pani you know connectivity and getting a getting the basics in place has been prime minister's singular objective over the last 10 years along with that he has strengthened the macro economy to a stage where we are today the fifth largest we have strong fundamentals control on inflation control on interest rates doubled our foreign exchange reserves have high growth in exports we have significant job generation and low uh, employment unemployment rates in every aspect the country is now in a position to dream big right. to aspire for the bigger goals that this nation needs and i believe july this interim budget and the one uh, honorable prime minister narendra modi will finalize in july 
are laying the roadmap for the Amrit Kal, 25 years, the next 24 years now, which will define India's road to prosperity, road to a better deal for 140 crore Indians. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Piyush Goel, you know, uh, the feeling is a lot is getting, a lot of things are coming together now after nine to ten years of hard work in terms of making fundamentals right, in terms of building in a digital economy, in terms of demonetization, in terms of GST, uh, in terms of UPI, so the government's got the fundamentals right, and therefore this is that moment of inflection. However, uh, is there any reason for worry as well? Because you see, there is a lot of aggression on the fiscal deficit. The government says we are going to achieve 4% by 24, 25, 26. Some traditional economists say impossible. They say impossible. How can the government... Can you hear me, Mr. Goel? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mr. Goel? Yeah, I had some disturbance. Now it's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, 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 yeah. okay, okay. So, I'll, I'll, I'll try and explain. Some people say, Mr. Goel, that the government is is putting too tough a target on itself with four percent fiscal deficit, while having such generous outlay on on, 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 on capex and 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 such big welfare schemes. What if something goes wrong? What if something's uh, apple cart be overturned? That that's uh, you know, if something like that were to happen. So, have you weighed that in? Arnab, uh, when you started Republic, I'm sure you kept very stiff targets also. A prudent, smart, intelligent person always challenges himself, always challenges the system. And it's only those who dream big, who aspire big, who achieve big. And I think uh, Prime Minister Modi has not failed the nation. In every one of his tasks, he has proven through sheer performance, through grit of uh, you know, the resilience that he has shown. We've had enough global challenges. We had COVID-19. We, uh, we, we are currently faced with two wars. We had the Red Sea crisis. The world has grown through turmoil where interest rates in the developed world have skyrocketed. <coughs> Inflation has been at never before levels. Despite all that, it's the small steps that Prime Minister Modi always focuses on. His practical approach to find solutions. The fact that he's very clear, like Arjun, his eye is very clear that the last man at the bottom of the pyramid should get a better quality of life. Should, there should be a better future for him. I think that is what has held him in good stead. And today, we have such strong macroeconomic fundamentals that we can aspire big. There will be problems, challenges will come. But Prime Minister Modi has converted every single challenge of his life every crisis that he has faced into an opportunity to do even better. Whether it was COVID, where I don't know if you saw vaccine wars, I would urge you and your viewers to certainly see vaccine wars. It gives you the confidence as a nation how India can aspire and dream big and achieve big. And I say to the naysayers, not only will we achieve our fiscal deficit targets, not only will we relentlessly pursue the path of welfare for the poor, not only will we make sure that every young boy or girl, every man or woman born in India, every woman of uh, substance that we have, our sisters and daughters, every annadata, the, the farmers, and every poor person can look for big dreams, can aspire big. Modi hai to mumkin hai. And this is India's time. This is our time where we're going to look for big transformational yeah. change and take this country to greater heights. Okay. Or, or, or to wrap up on a lighter note, uh, you, you have to rub it in every time to the opposition. You know, you, 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 it started with, if we are back, then it went to, when we are back, and now it has become, after we are back. You know, I see every single opportunity, both by the Prime Minister and by you and all other leaders, to make that point relentlessly. Why, why, why are you doing that? Arnab, Arnab, it's only the trust that we have. It's janta sab janti hai. Janta badi samajdar hai. The people of India are wise. They know what is good for them. They know what the competition has to offer. 
they want a corruption free india they don't like appeasement they don't like family dynastic rule dynastic politics they don't like vindictive <laughs> politics but they like when action is taken against those who have stolen from the government treasury when action is taken against those who have cheated the people of their hard earned money and the taxes that they pay and i think prime minister modi is committed to making india truly a global superpower free of corruption free of appeasement and really ensuring that every single person born in india gets a fair opportunity without discrimination as mrs sitaraman said that is true secularism right 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 well uh, you know uh, incredible uh, mr piyush goel i thank you very much wish you best of luck in the elections and you do know how to make a tweet viral workaholic minister in the modi government piyush goel thank you very very much great to have you with us on this budget night once again <clears throat> thank you thank you all right ladies and gentlemen piyush goel setting the agenda out there i'm joined by zafar islam of the bjp national spokesperson ravinder dal of the congress and akshay marathe uh akshay marathe to start with you first if there is nothing to criticize you don't have to you don't have to try and find water in a rock you're overdoing it akshay you could have been positive today we're doing very well we've got a huge capex you know this capex is going to go to all all parts of the country state governments have been incentivized to do more social welfare continues fiscal deficit is amazing actually i think you have nothing to criticize actually i think you don't do you if you have anything specific which you have a problem with then you tell zafar now and zafar will take you on to start with arnab i i uh, first want to start off by saying that i completely understand why we have to speak on in loud voices on this channel because i have been hearing your producers talk for the last 30 minutes and if you conduct this show every day with so many voices whispering in your head i salute you for your uh, dedication in <laughs> focusing on what needs to be said <laughs> but be that as it may uh, let me let me Thank focus you. on the issue come at the hand point, today Look, yeah, come to the point the now. last 10 years Thank the modi that. government has no. promised india that they will produce 2 crore jobs every single year and every budget every youth of this country is looking at the finance minister expecting that there will be some kind of road map that talks about how will these jobs be created instead you have tall promises each year after year after year instead of communicating what has been done in the previous year to create jobs what has been done in the previous year to reduce inflation instead of focusing on these critical issues the modi government is only focused on patting its uh, its own back you saw the finance uh, the, the minister that spoke right before us mr piyush goel he had nothing to say about job creation he had nothing to say about inflation and how the modi government is going to reduce inflation this is an election year but this government is so arrogant that they don't have it in them to even consider that they are accountable to the people of india the people are crying out loud that we cannot tolerate these high prices for the last uh, 10 years arnab this, we have experienced arnab. the worst phase of jobless growth that any country may have experienced in the history of the world we have had such high growth 5 6% 7% but no single uh, uh, survey job survey has been conducted in the last 5 years that indicates how much of that growth has gone into the pockets of the people or has this growth been entirely concentrated at the top 1 2 2% of india the corporate class the owners of these media organizations the owners of uh, you know big big sporting companies that are making all the bucks so the fact of the matter is the people can experience sheer economic pain and the government does nothing to talk about that and expects that the opposition will have nothing to say against it are we supposed to be you, you cheerleaders not, of the government you, you, the opposition you, you, you will critic you're not substantiating you're not substantiating you're not no no you're not substantiating anything with numbers you are just making a series of statements you are not substantiating anything with numbers you're not you're you're just saying this is bad that is bad this is bad that is worse you don't have a single number you don't you can't substantiate it with a number take on zafar islam with a number can i just in the central government what has the bjp said today 
out with his filling phone. Filling up those vacancies, so 10 lakh jobs can be created enough. in the stroke of a pen. It's okay, you have spoken enough. Okay. Can I just respond, so please? It's okay, you have I think, Arnab, let, let me respond to him. Go on. First of all, he must understand. No, but he must understand that this rhetoric will not be receptive to the common man on the street because they know there is a government who believes in a governance model which actually is helping this governance model which, which believes in two basic points, fairness and effectiveness and that policy has helped a common man on the street. So they are extremely happy as far as the, uh, the marginalized section of the society is concerned. But when we talk about the economy, we inherited a fragile economy. Today is the top five economy in the world. It's a robust economy, it's a growing economy. And this budget, if anybody was expecting that we should have made so many announcements, perhaps had we made the announcement in, in this budget, these people was, would have been criticizing us. So we, this interim budget was only a vote on accounts, and that is what we have achieved, except one more thing that we have given direction. Our priority is very clear. We have made our economy very strong. It is growing, growing very fast. The world is acknowledging that Indian economy is growing under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister. It's very strong, it's growing very fast. Secondly, what is more important that the job creation, when the people are talk about, talk about job creation, see the number, NSO, NSO <coughs> number, that we, this year the, the job, uh, unemployment rate is 3.2, which, which is much, much better than what we had pre-pandemic level or during during UPA level. So this only suggests that the policy no, no. initiative, structural reform, policy reform, whatever have been undertaken by the Honorable Prime Minister in the last policy 10 years, actually paying the dividends. Today, who will criticize the, uh, uh, the Indian economy? Only fools will criticize because all the macroeconomic parameters, if you see, as the, as the Honorable Minister, Mr. Piyush Goel was talking about, that it was looking terrible in 2013-14 because it was a fragile economy. <coughs> now, if you see the inflation, it is. No, he was talking about the inflation. Inflation is is uh, well in control and it is coming off. The target for next year, RBI has indicated, is then four and a half percent. What else you want? Four and a half percent inflation, which as against the triple, uh, double digit inflation we have seen during UPA regime. Secondly, the fiscal deficit. What is it with the health of the economy? The fiscal deficit. We had targeted 5.9. Actually, the uh, the, uh, the revised budget is uh, budget estimates is 5.8, and this year we, the target is 5.1. This only suggests the fiscal prudence, whatever has been expect about what is being expected from the government, is being <laughs> followed strictly by the government. Third thing, the ease of living, which is the priority for the government, and that's why the, all the initiative has been, which has been taken by the through policy reform by the government to ensure that the common man, the marginalized section of the society, society, the youth, the women, the Annadatta, the farmers, and of course, these people, these people's interests are safeguarded. They should be the biggest beneficiary. Today, a common man